Hello again, viewers. Anime Flame 12 here, and it's time to continue on and bubble and squeak. I believe we are about halfway through the game now. I forget how many levels there are, but I'm think I'm pretty sure we're about halfway now. Now the level, this level here, is a bit of a puzzle level. You have to uh, the um, the goalpost is at the uh, top of the level, the top left-hand corner, and to get up there, you have to uh, raise a bunch of elevators up to uh, bridge a gap from one side of the area to the other. It's the only way you can get both guys across the goalpost. Not and not only is there no machine in this level, there's also no gems either, so <clears throat> this level is almost basically a puzzle solving level. I'm just, uh, just trying to think how many levels there are here. There's at least, <clears throat> excuse me, there's at least um, 30 levels, I forget. <clears throat> And that's uh, not counting the bonus levels, so... Just trying to think here. Whoops. Forget how many there are. Well, anyway, so that's basically this level in a nutshell. You're going to need Squeak's help to get up to a lot of these things. You can't actually give him a bubble gum until you're done raising all the elevators, because you'll need him to get up to a lot of these areas. Now, let me see here. I think I need him to get up to the last one as well. I believe you toss me from here, right? Yep. I can get this last one myself. Let's see. Yes. Alright. And that should be the last elevator. Now let's go back and uh, give him a bubble gum before the... Oh, the water's already rising. Whoa, I better... Hey, jump! Better hurry. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Boy, the water's sure not wasting any time in this level. So yeah, this is pretty simple, and hopefully I got all the elevators raised, because there's no time to go back down and try and raise them now, because I'll surely drown. Whoops. And I have to get off the of squeaks back here and just shoot them across. Yep, yeah, all the elevators are raised, and there's the goalpost. So the only thing we'll be doing in this level is, uh, after this level, is going to the uh, submarine bonus level, since there was once again no machine. Don't hold your breath for me beating the Raspberry Lagoon. I got really close to getting through that giant wall block, bleh, giant wall of blocks at the end of the last episode, and um, hopefully I can get that far again. Basically, I just gotta get through that wall of blocks and get rid of that a few of those crabs before they get to me. It's really hard to shoot the crabs once you get through the wall of blocks because you hardly have any room to shoot. Do I have time to do this? Okay, I'm gonna make it. Come on. I always get this far and then. Oh, well, hold on. Nope, I got stuck. I didn't have enough time. I tried to <laughs> switch my switch the way I was going, but I didn't have enough time to open the path. Okay, this level. Um, there's uh, the water starts out really high, so and you're gonna have to go down below in order to get around to the goalpost. So you're gonna have to lower the water in this one. And we're back to collecting gems, and there is a machine in this one. I think. Uh, that's it for the levels that don't have machines. There's machines in all of them from here on out. Uh, oh, great. Were you... Real? Oh, my goodness. Holy smokes. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I think I might be screwed here. I don't think... Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, jump up. Oh! Darn it. Well, I didn't know I could get him out of there. Oh, well. Let's try again. All right, so let me see here. I'm just uh, trying to think of what else I can talk about here. Uh, let's see. Uh, recently, I went to see the um, new Spider-Man movie. I don't. I don't think I've discussed. I don't think I've discussed this before. Um, the new Spider, the Amazing Spider-Man movie. I thought it was. It was all right. It was sure a lot better than the uh, Spider-Man Three, which killed the uh, the, the pre last Spider-Man movie, which basically killed the old franchise. Third Spider-Man, in my opinion, was terrible. I remember I went to see it with my sister. Let's get that switch before. I think I gotta do this a couple times here. Yeah, so it was all right. They did set it up for a sequel, though, and um, I wasn't too 
I wasn't really, honestly, I wasn't, didn't think that was such a good idea. I mean, they did okay with this one, but I don't know if they could, they uh, should have set up for a sequel. I mean, it's, if they make, can make a good sequel, it'll be alright. But, uh, we'll just have to wait and see about that. Okay, once again, I have to have him throw me up and hit that button. Oh, come on. There we go. Boy, I'm not going to have a lot of time here. Ah, come on. Okay, that was it for the machine. Let's get that extra life there, just so I have it, just in case I lose a life again. Water's going to be coming up again pretty quickly, I think, so let's get over to the... Okay, I'm not going to waste uh, any time getting those gems. I've already got enough to break the machine, so let's get him on the elevator here. And raise it up. There's the machine. Jump up here, break it open quickly, and then get up to the goalpost. And I think the uh, following level, we're going into a new world. There's still, uh, I think there's still two more different worlds to explore. We've explored, I think there's like a total of five. I think we're uh, explored three, the Neverglades, Stardust Caverns, and this Diamond Foundry. I think the uh, fourth world uh, takes place in the uh, a desert. I forget what the uh, actual level's called. I'll, f I'll find out in a sec here after we get through the Raspberry Lagoon again here. And by get through, I mean fail. But, I could be wrong. I'll just stop talking for a sec here. All right. Oh! Dang, I'm too busy trying to get the that octopus. Okay, Sandcastle Desert, that's what this is called. Okay, and uh, I'll try... I forget what the enemies are in this one. I think there's a B, and I forget there's, there's something else. I'll discuss the enemies when we get to them. And uh, watch out for that fire there, because that will also damage Squeak if he lands on it. It's not. It's damaging to everyone. You don't want to land on that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. First bit of the level is just shooting him along these rails. Uh, I think I shoot him again. Oh, nope. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. He's dead. Come on, come on. Get out of there. Nope. I'm going to lose a life. Uh, that was not smart what I did there. I, sh I really should have looked before I leapt. Thought it was safe to shoot him again. Alright, so I've lost two lives in this video. I'm going to have to be a little more careful now. So yeah, as you can see, the fire there, you saw firsthand that nobody is safe from the fire. I think there's also cactuses in this level. And just like the fire, those can also hurt Squeak. So there's actually a lot of things that can actually harm Squeak if he lands on them in this level. So this can be really challenging. I think all these desert levels are fairly long. Is there any... Okay, there's no... I have no idea what those, uh, hop... These black... Oh, there's a B. Shoot. How many hits does he take? Three. Oh my goodness, four? What the... Holy moly... And I'm playing on normal, too, and he takes five hits to kill? Holy smokes. Now, these things, when you shoot them, they split in half. You only get coins for the first time you shoot them. You have to shoot them a couple of times. You shoot them once, they split in half, and then you got to kill the separate halves. This is actually the furthest I've gotten in the game on normal. And here comes the water already. The furthest I've gotten through this game on normal, and uh, I had no idea those bees were so tough. Okay, let's get Squeak up to the top here. I think I'm going to need to bring that spring again, so I better go and grab it. Alright, let's get that. <laughs> sort of strange seeing water rising in a desert, but... Alright. Let's be careful here. Is there any fire down here? No. Okay. Now you stay there for a second. I think there's a bee up here. Yes. These bees are really hard to hit, because every time you hit them, they switch directions when they're flying. Come on, come on, hit them. Hit them, come on! One more, I think. Oh, jeez Louise. At least I'm doing a good job of dodging it. Oh, come on, get that coin. There we go. Strange angle, the way it landed. Okay, I believe in this uh, level, the uh, bubblegum machine... Uh, bleh, here comes the water, better hurry. 
The bubblegum machine allows Squeak to fly again, so, uh, uh, let's see here. Oh boy, huh? Uh, hopefully this is the right thing to do, because I don't really have time to... Okay, that was the right thing to do, okay. The bubblegum machine allows uh, Squeak to fly again. I'll bring this spring just in case I need it, I really don't remember. Oh, this fire's really hard to dodge. And you know what's funny? Also, look at this. The water comes up, and it doesn't put out the fire. What kind of logic is that? <laughs> Whatever, okay, here's the bubblegum machine. Give you a bubblegum, and now you can fly again. What's down here? A couple cupcakes. And I believe there's also a little secret area here. You can fly up through here, and I think there's a lot of gems you collect. I forget what exactly everything is up here. I gotta watch out. I think there's a, some, at least one bee up here. Maybe I should go up and find out. There he is. There we go. Huh, it's a lot easier to kill when I can fly with him. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about getting the coin. It fell all the way back down. I'll just worry about getting all the, the gems here. Really only the, if, after you put gems in the machine, the only other thing they're really good for is score, but I like collecting them anyway. It's just, uh, okay. Oof. These are hard to collect, because, okay, you know what? I might not try and collect those, because if I touch the fire, I'm going to hurt myself. Let's see. Careful. Careful. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm not going to try anymore. I've already lost two hit points trying to get them, so I think that's enough. Another B. Come on. Bounce off his head. There we go. And I believe... I don't know how I'm... Oh! Oh, jeez. I'm taking a lot of damage here. It's a good thing I got so many hit points. Is there any more Bs? Uh, okay. I believe I'm close to the end here. So, oh! Oh, there. It's right there. Perfect. Okay, let's break open the machine before I finish the level up. And, uh try the Raspberry Lagoon one more time. Got a few minutes left. Alright, so that's it for the uh, first uh, um, Sandcastle Desert level. I believe that, that one was pretty hard as it is, and I think all the rest of them were even... Oh, that's right! I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the submarine. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot about that. Okay, well, I guess I won't be going to the Raspberry Lagoon again. But, considering how I do at that bonus level, that's really no big loss. Okay, so in the next video, we'll be continuing on through the Sandcastle Desert. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe to me, and uh, join me for the next episode. This is Anime Flame 12, and I'll see you then.